Yeah, good day, viewers. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, the volume's been a bit low lately. Look at the, um, the grasses here. We're looking out over, this is um, West Coast. Farming Simulator 17. There's a castle over there. There's an island out the back, and there's a lighthouse over here, and down there is the farm, and then over there. <laughs> yeah. These, um, These bushes, when I first saw them, I thought they were boxhorn bushes. African boxhorn. Yes. Canola. Or all seed rape, as they call it in this part of the country. So, West Coast. West Coast is um, a beautiful map. Um, it's based in. I don't know if it's uh, fictional area. Um, it's one of Bullet Bill's maps on 17. Um, pretty sure it's Bullet Bill's. I'll check that later. Um, if not, I apologise. Um, this is the wheat crop. Ground textures. See little ground textures and crop textures and on flying past. And these skies. Look at the skies, man. Look at that. Isn't that good? Are they, um, I'm sure they're chemtrail bloody jets there, I think. <laughs> what? What? Marks? Uh, yeah. Different. There's a bit of a scotch this one out there in the weeds, but I don't know what that other sort of like, um, like a crop pot thing looks like. Uh, 17. You go up to, to, to these here and you push them and it tells you that. The owner of the paddock and how much it is, right? Um, and you can buy it if you want and that sort of thing. I've only got 20 grand there at the moment. I haven't put any cheap money in yet, which I'm going to because I'm a cheap money dude now. Stone walls, beautiful stone walls. Nice uh, laneways. Those stabby poles a bit closer to the bloody road then. That one's nice. Canola. This is it. Main farm. Storage farm, private property, and there's one up in the hills, is uh, just over the uh, over the border of Ireland. Um, private property, that's what happens. Nice British stone hoose. Um, yeah, it's actually nice. Uh, look at the textures in the window though. They're showing a tree. Nope, no tree. I never really noticed that until I was up close and personal. Nice little tool shed. This is the first look, by the way. Um, I've got this uh, Colin um, Colebrook Park. I think that's right, Colebrook Park. Uh, you know, I've got Ballon Creek Estate, um, which is from uh, McCormick uh, Modding. Uh, these guys, uh, as you know, do these fantastic maps and that. I like the colour coordination, bloody kingcraft type stuff here. Cool, mate. Some more shelving. At least this one here, you can put stuff on the shelves, pallets and that in here. Wouldn't look out of place, a welder. A nice little bay the dump or some loose stuff. These potato crates and that. I'm pretty sure that, yep, they're, they're movable. Uh, what is that? A circle, isn't it? It's too heavy. I've got to eat me weedies. Massey Ferguson's. Um, showcased a lot on my maps in 17 because uh, there's a diesel dump here. Nice little place to turn around. There's your water point. Um, yeah, they, they're going to feature a lot on um, 17 because that's uh, my go-to tractor back in 17. But I will try to put fence and that sort of stuff in there. Um, some nice bays. Um, I like putting loose hay on one side and loose um, uh, like straw on one side and hay on the other. Um, I just started doing that because you can only have a hundred bales in uh, this cedar. This is a, a val, well, yep, uh, yeah, one of those bell things. I can't remember what it's called. And of course, the agroliner trailer, chipper trailer. This is your little silo. Pull up here. I pulled many semis up here before. And um, use that paddock out there to turn around and go out to the other side gate. 
but yeah, uh, on this map there's gold nuggets. If you find all the gold nuggets, up you find ten. It, uh, lights work, by the way. Yeah, it would have been those spotlights and it up here. Yeah, a lock above there and then the other ones were here. I think it's just inside the wall. No, what is that one? Yes, yeah, just over there. So you'll never fill these bays all the way, but great for parking stuff in there, you back of semi in there, no worries. It's a little bit tight around here, turn around. It's uh seed point, no. Liquid fertilizer, water. And I thought there was another fertilizer thing here. You got to wait here. I haven't done anything on the on the things yet. These spray units are excellent too. This little um, land tractor on 17, man. This one here, this fence, uh, 724. It's got on uh, Oakfield Farm and all this that. This is a top tractor. This combination with Mass Ferguson and this fence tractor. This fence tractor was my spray tractor. It was a great little um, flower tractor. It was a great tractor all around. I actually found myself favouring this tractor a lot. Um, I'm glad they put it on the maps actually. The plough, just the normal average plough. Bit of junk laying around. A lot of this stuff's out of the way. Um, sort of, um, it's, it's good, it's out, out, out of the way. So the lone oak sort of put it right in the way. But yeah, it's my own personal quote. This paddock. Great little paddock, you go around the outside of the paddock and go down to the other ones. Um, I think I'll have to show you the map. There's the side gate, like I was saying. Come through the yard and you can go out into the road where I ran past there before. Come down to that, past that canola field and around past the beautiful wall. Anywho, um, we'll just quickly have a look at, see, mm. see what we've got. So we've got a couple of New Holland, uh, or oh, actually we haven't got a couple of New Holland. We've got a New Holland, then we've got a Baltra and that beautiful fence. And Massey Ferguson, because uh, a couple of frame equipment, Massey Ferguson header, which is um, a good size for all these paddocks and that actually. Um, paddocks, fields, whatever you want to call them. Um, the Palau, everything's nice and green, isn't it? Look good on that bloody deer farm, wouldn't it? There it is. Uh, Valdested. Valdested uh, Palau. I didn't say that right, did I? Amazon. They're, they're great little units, uh, front and back, thousand litres or whatever it is. What's it say? Yeah, thousand litres. Great little tanks for um, a unit. I normally have a Hurleyman on 17. I chuck them on a Hurleyman. Great little unit um, for for um, um, uh, weeding and stuff like that. Uh, Fertilising basically. No weeds. Um, this mower, I never, never did like the side mowers. I always get rid of them. So they'll be gone. Tether, Winrow, this little wagon, the only problem with this little wagon, it looks great colour wise and everything, great little one on these um, nice little farms, but that back wheel, that back wheel gets caught on everything, everything under the sun, it's like, it, it's really, um, yeah, yeah, when you're driving around that sort of thing in the tight yards, it always gets caught, it's great little bell wrapper, recommend it, the the belt ones, I got them in 19, that, that's the part of the starter, starter ones, that great little little belt um, roller for round bales. Uh, the Justin Tanks are a legend on each map, well, just, you've got to have them. Um, they're excellent for your stock use and that. Sometimes the wheels will get caught if you're an idiot driver like me. <coughs> now, um, Black Sheep Modding is now coming out with this, this truck, but it's extended. Um, they're just bringing, he's just bringing this truck in and out. This truck is absolutely fantastic. I used to use it all the time. And that's the original man. Um, yeah, this, he's getting this out for 19 and PC and I think it's across the board. I hope it is across the board because I want one. Um, so you run all my other man trucks and that on my British maps. Um, but this one here, you can open the doors and everything like that. Like that's, that was a big buzz with me. Like you could open the door up. I use it on Oakville Farm and that used to open the door up, then jump out and walk around and 
jump to the head and leave it there with the door wide open. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. Um, and then this this one here, I wish they brought that out, but with a deeper, because I've got this one still a 19. It's a great little truck for poking around all the little uh, yards and lanes and that for all the maps that are coming out at the moment. Um, it, this is Ireland, um, you know, um, uh, Char Charwell Farm. I've got um, the the six wheel variety of this, like double wheel, like basically that, but with the 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 bigger um, back on the back of it. Um, but I thought I was, I was kind of like that, basically with the the back end of it, right? If you know what I mean, like the tipper. But I was hoping I was going to bring this out. See, this had two uh, two lower sides on this this game, but I still used it. Probably still use it just to showcase it because it's got the dual wheels at the back of that, which is um, why I really love that truck in this game. But I'll be show, showing you those again. These little buses, um, they're great for like hauling around bins and stuff as well. The um, the lizards is a bit different to um, uh, the one now. Look at that bumper and that's detailed. Whoa! And of course, this thing I didn't really use that much because of the big tank and that behind it, the fuel tank. Um, but yeah, and, and I like the way they carry the wheel on that one. They got the single uh, back back axles, but they carry the spare wheel on that looks good, detailed. And this old warrior truck, we're going to be featuring it as well. So anyway, there's a few other really good good, good stuff around here, like Massburgers back on that, of course, with all the old tractors, like you've seen on Granddad's Farm, Ballon Craig Estate. Ballon Craig Estate's a beautiful little map just for those little tractors. Um, because of the simple fact is, and because everything's so close, I just use tractors. I don't have any, um, any trucks on there. Put the um, Rodeo, the F100. Now, these trees, they're the same as 19. At the moment, I'm chopping the hell out of the trees on the map. Um, Charwell Farm and that, they're sticking out all over the road. I just put the um, Somerset and they are placed them further in the ground I noticed right there you've got a bit of a, a trunk right they've placed them lower so the branches are actually lower to the ground to stop catching things up high but they're, now they're right on the road like there's a branch like that right on the road and it's like takes up a, a nearly little whole lane and when you're running semis and that through like I'm not, I'm not running semis through there I'm going to be using those um, hook trucks and stuff like that in that um, that series, but um, I did lighthouse over the back, guys. I think we might do the old sandcastle bit. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. No. I'm starting to use those label places, um, miscellaneous, isn't it? Place for miscellaneous. Is that a sandcastle here? Yeah, miscellaneous. No. What do we use here? Here we go. Hang on, I just use a press washer. Right, so zoom. That's it. Can't zoom out anymore. That sucks. Right, so check out the size of the paddocks, fields. Got a nice little brook of that coming through here. Um, trees are thicker around there, of course. There it is. I think. What did I go up there for? Oh, that's right. Nuggets, and that I was running around after nuggets. I love the way they got the um, the buildings all placed out. I love the um, hedgerows everywhere. You got the fence placing that underneath the hedgerows and the hedgerows your header will catch um, I think everything else can actually go through the hedge except for when there's a fence of course um, but uh, yeah the hedge will catch this is the sheep um, sheep yard yes yeah, the sheep yard um, been a while since I've been on this map but uh, this is where you got your uh, all your grass working gear straight away this is your sheep paddock here um, got your water trough there and your feed trough over here. I love the way they got the shade cloth around there as well. It's only um, like, let's zoom in. See how it's uh, like half cladded basically. Um, that's for when the sun's um, starting to get low on the thing, it will cast a shadow on that through the shed and stuff like that, keep it nice and cool. And um, you know, if, if, it get wet, uh, if it gets wet as well, it, it dries out quicker. And um, as it does, it's like a cool guardy safe. Anybody knows what a cool guardy safe is? It's um, they used to put hessian 
uh, have a tray in the bottom of uh, a square tr um, thing with a door on it um, with hessian around it they fill the tray up on the bottom with um, water and as the wind would blow through it it would soak up through the hessian of course and when the wind would blow through it it cool the meat and stuff that they want to store inside vegetables and that out in the bush that's what they call gutty so look at this beautiful mountain ridge here there's walking tracks all the way through here by the way so if you get one on seven get back to 17 go grab a 17 all these gold nuggets look at that that's where you find them too they, they nest in places like that because they're so heavy and at the bottom of the hill or something. No, yeah, anyway um we're gonna whiz over to the um we're gonna have to go over there aren't we lighthouse so excuse me a minute got a what was across here beautiful railway bridge look at that construction at its finest billy Connolly would like that he loves construction bridges and stuff he used to be working in shipyards Bio biogas thing i never use these things i'm a bit slack at that um these bollards get away from gut nice train station look at this look at this is what i mean by these guys with their maps they put a lot of detail on that in it I know Oxford and David were saying there's one of his maps coming out now. Um, it's it's the finest uh, detailed map he's put it into, I reckon. So these are um, they're, they're, they're not really Suffolk sheep. They're sort of like Coswell type sheep. Is it? I had a book once with all the breeds of sheep in them, and, and they look like a Highland sheep to me. There's another nugget in there, of course. Now, this is what I say, right? When, when they say that those cows with the, um, the horns and that are Angus, right? This is an Angus frame cattle. See, it's square framed, straight back. These here are short horn cattle, these patchy ones. And these are either uh, Red Pole or Devon. Right? That, that, I'm from Australia, by the way, right? So, cattle. I love cattle. Love sheep, love pigs, love chooks, everything like that. Look at that short horn there, beautiful detail. If you can get these things running around the map. What, uh, 21, here we go. That's what we want for 21. Real Angus cattle, real short horn cattle and red pole cattle. You've got the baseline there and you've got the, um, uh, what do you call them? Um, the air shires and stuff like that as well. And Holsteins, that's what I'm trying to think of. Holstein um, Frisians, right? You've got all that already. So that's what you need. You need those static cows there moving like you do on game and Brahmins, of course. Gotta have your beef cattle in Brahmin as well. There's a Sam's Chippy around here somewhere. That's the um, pub. So I just put, um, oh, what's this um, burger van down here? Oh, look, go well, go shell. Uh, David's, so that's Oxygen David's, is it? Is this Oxygen David's map? Did I make a boo-boo before? And say it was, um... See, there you go. If it's Oxygen David's map, the one that's so detailed. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, it probably is now that I saw that. I'm an idiot, aren't I? Anywho. <laughs> these guys work together on no no right? <laughs> Massey Ferguson dealer. Here we go. Beautiful little dealership straight across from your livestock market I'm trying to save my face here great little beach great water great little dock you can't take the boat for a run although if it was a later map here would make sure that you could right so um, this little park here I've never actually pulled over here I pulled over many times to let stuff through when I've got large machinery in this parker bay moved in here let everybody go past and then pull back out again uh, i mean like i spent hours and hours on this map i love this map see there's another bridge going over top i've got to turn around so i can see there um yes these trees much better on here than 17 when i first got on 19 i was pitching about the the snake trees i was saying that they're, they're, they're slivering like snakes wiggling like snakes that's because i was fought with these these maps okay on 17 before 19 come out and beautiful lighthouse is this like his um this is david's like his um the sandy bay one isn't it with his lighthouse and stuff the lighthouse works at night by the way which you know something you probably would have expected 
a nice tunnel. Okay, and there's the edge of your map right there, see? But look at the way it looks like it goes on forever. Must be Oxygen David's map. He, he does a lot of that, like in Michael Palmer and stuff. But anyway, they're both good map makers. <laughs> I just made a boo-boo. <laughs> Typical. Forest, you can cut it down, you can do whatever you want. Oh, here we go, around the corner, up the road, there's me, um, my dairy farm is up here. Now we're in Ireland, by the way. We just crossed the water. Yeah, she blows. Right, this is me cow yard, me cattle yard. Of course, you have to buy the paddocks and then around it. We've got great little shedding. I'll go down so we can have a look. Of course, there's the water. Joskin, a water trailer sitting here. A bit of rust on that pole, see that? Beautiful detail. Uh, it's all bench back there. Oh. Uh, water in the shed there. Uh, in case you didn't see, there's. Mm, come around. Seed point there. Pretty sure that's a buy seed point. Those uh, dome roof things, see the round roofs? They've got, um, with the mods of 19, they call them British um, barns and stuff. I never really thought about it before. Um, but yeah, another beautiful stone house. Here you go, Mountain View Farm. That's a dairy farm. That's in Ireland. It's just over the Irish border. I'll show you the sign in a minute, just to so you don't think I'm full of it. Because I've already marked up once. Oops. But here's your cow yard. There's your, your slurry pit. And you can operate that thing. I'm sure you can lift it up. Yeah, you lift it up. Um, beautiful hoop ring there. Absolutely does nothing. So you can go on and put some straw in it. Make it look good. A bale, you know. There's your trough. Your water trough. Feed trough is in the barn itself, I think. Look at the grass, man. It's a grass texture, by the way. Um, 19 is approved uh, a grass texture in that. But I love the way they've sort of like got the moss ground, a bit of clover in that on the on the bottom there. It looks a little like, looks like clover in it. And it's, um you know, clumps of grass, which you sort of expect. See a bit of moss, like just there. You can see that. See this how it's sort of like mossy because it's um, exposed to the actual sun and stuff. And, and the wet because it's in Ireland. Look at those green, 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 green everywhere. There's lots of green grasses, um, grass fields around here. Great little house in that down at the bottom of the hill here. Um, that's what I like. The nice little, you got neighbours, you know. You know, they, they, they're farm people as well. Ooh, did you see that? That was uh, like Laylee. Um, this is an automatic milk milker. Get around. I'm, I'm crazy at driving these things. So I think it's an automatic tag milker, so what it does, it reads it. Oh, there you go, there's the milker there. The tea cups. So they go in, They um, it gets red automatically, and then the teat, robotic teat trucks lines up the teats and gives them a good old uh, tickle. As they're munching away on some grain, it gives them a certain amount of feed of grain. Uh, I love those little, I always put um, put hay over those, in those little yards there. I just pull up, use the automatic trailer. So there you go, it just goes in there, locks her in, gives us some grain. The uh, the um, automatic milker places onto the teats and, and there we go, it pumps across to the tank, holding tank for the truck to come pick it up, that's on the outside of the wall. These um, brushes, excellent, robotic brushes, they move up and down to for a certain height, They um, and the cow goes under it, scratches all the back and that, it gets all the loose um, dirt and hair and that off, keeps them nice, if it's got an itch, it's, you know, they can get it scratched. Of course, that was the old muck bin back there. Right now, um, up, up, and away. And I was going to show you that sign, so that would be from uh, here. See, back over yonder, here. Over here. Now, see, what's this one? That's, um, that's main farm. So that's only like a hot skip and jump. One, one road or so over. So that sign must be around here somewhere. Where is it? Is that there? No, at just Hill Ridge Farm, Sugar Beet Store, go down the road. Always hit these bloody signs that go around the corner. What's that one say? Oh, oh, oh. oh man. I'm rubbish at driving this thing. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Ah, it was Wales, I was wrong. See? I'm always bloody wrong. Look from the Wales, not Ireland. Okay. And there's Gaelic there or whatever. I can't read that. Jimru Jimru uh Crow S O I Jimru whatever. It's Gaelic. I think. Potato storage, I think this is a potato storage joint. Um, you can open those up, of course, is uh, what was the problem when you last one? I can't remember. We've got another crop of wheat in that here. Lots of beautiful crops. There was something else over this way. A nice little house there. Uh, there's a tunnel um, in the drink. Uh, root crops in that there. What else was there? Oh, wasn't there something, some really cool tracks up this way, wasn't there? Uh, go out, thank you. Um, yeah, there was a, a bridge crossing type thing you had to go up under here. What was this again? Oh, that goes up to the castle, that's right. The castle. I'll show you where all the nuggets and that are. Is there a fishing boat out yonder? I'm sure there was like some dirt tracks because I had uh, real ground. Uh, oh no, that's right. You had to come in through the castle here to this sail point. So you could use up here. Oh, get around, get around, get around, get around, get around. Over to here, up into this farm up here. That was a great little farm. Was it cow noises? Uh, there was something about this farm that was really cool. And tight little place. You know, you're driving a truck in here one of those um, uh, short wheelbarrows. See, there's chickens. Chickens run around free roam in the yard. You pick up the eggs in, that, in, the, in the actual pen, go down. And you have like Roger and his girlfriends and you know, there's some static sheep there. Over here, there's eggs on the, no, no eggs on the ground yet. Look at that, look at that corrugated iron. Look at that, rusty as. I love it. Moss on the roof absolutely fantastic I mean when they started well, they've got little um, manger type things there for the hay that was good that hay is floating but that, that straw don't don't look at that see the straw texture is different isn't it a bit coarser beautiful sheep beautiful sheep Brrr. right so we've got leghorns we've got australops my granddad special see this like little step in that here too well, I was inside the bloody barn, that's why it looks stupid. But look at that. You can't, you can't use those, but it looks good, doesn't it? Lots of storage. You can have uh, buy the paddocks and that up around here. See all these little farmlets everywhere? That's what makes these um, British maps the best. For me anyway, because, like I said, we don't have hedgerows and stuff in Australia. We don't have green grass most of the time only winter is a wood chip selling area so we will be playing on this map um, I'm keeping this for the day there's the expressway too like this is uh, M5 I was on uh, uh, it needs a bit more traffic but man that's the expressway you have to go across that bridge to get to certain places so it makes it different um, maybe we can go down here I love the way they've got the um, places on these maps Ah oh, yes, little wood hope. Yeah, we'll go out to a little wood hope, which is up this way. And there was a, is there a by centre, centre up here. There's a wood. What else? There's a little town that townlet here, where you go into your property across the road. But a bunch of houses on the side of the road, type of thing, closer to the road. I'm trying to find this road. There is. Look at this undulating hills. If I could drive this bus. <coughs> Undulating hills. No, oh, it's back on the expressway. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Freight station. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's the other bike point. I'm going to go up the road this way. Uh, you go into town that way. It's a roundabout. And if you go. Is it over there? That's where we just were. 
go up the road. Can we go up the road this way? <coughs> Excuse me. I've just seen the plane up. No, you can't go that way. Must be the end of the map. Where is um? <coughs> there's a, oh, excuse me. There's a pig farm. Sort of about blowing your eardrums out if you got headsets on. It's my lungs and dying, so don't worry about it. <laughs> it is falling apart on me. Welcome to my world. <coughs> yeah. Nice little farmhouse here. And it goes along with the pig farm. Ah, here it is. Beautiful hope. Yeah, so you come down, come down the road here, and you got this little village yet. What do they call it? And um, when you were sell point, what's that one? Uh, the rusty now. That's a pub or an ale hall. Uh, you know, all those places. Big sell point. So you got another one of these little turning things here. I normally just turn in here, let traffic go past, and then take off again. <coughs> this is, <coughs> excuse me again. This is your garden centre. Um, tomato plants. Yeah. Well, that is. It is be here in the morning. Oh, there's some um, bir birch. Um, what do you call it? Um, porch. Porch. Porch flowers in, in there. Because for the bees, I don't know they're hiding there. Um, so I'll call that coriander or something like that. Um, tomatoes. Ben, who? Um, that's where you come and get your manure and stuff from. But great little glass houses and stuff like that. Um, a small bit, butch. Butch. Is that right? What would I do that for? Uh, yep, that. So there we are. That was a nice little fly around the town and that most of it you'll see as I'm driving around anyway during the, the gameplay if you watch it. This is a great little farm, see you've got a nice little wall and around it. Nice compact farmyard. Everything's here. Um for you to start off with. No big silos because you've got the in, in shed silos here. Where you feed her in, auger it out, then take it to the silo and sell that anyway. These um paddocks across the road are the uh, are really good paddocks, they've got Hardly any gates in that on them. We've got gates open to the main drag, of course. But decent sized paddocks. There's a walking trail through this paddock, um, which goes up to the rest of the walking trail that goes up through the forest. And yeah, there, there's trails all around the place. You go up over uh, wooden stall things like that, um, the jump fences, really cool. And this is the other farm, see? It's a sheep farm, cow farm. Your cow farm's pretty close to the other farm, just across the way. You can send the kids over there and get the milk. <laughs> but that's there. So that's just a quick look at the the map itself. Um, we had a look at the machinery. We show you case that. Um, um, go back again. Showcase the truck. Of course, in this one you got this beautiful car here. You got the um, Dodge. We've got um, now the road rage now on the other map. We've got the pickup on the other map. These two will be, uh, this one's got beautiful leather interior. So there's that one, it's got GT racing stripe. We've got the van um, in 19. So you open the two side doors and the back door and stick all your pallets and stuff in. Um, what else is of interest here? Which else we call? Oh, Bobcat. We've got a Bobcat in this one. I think I've, yeah, there he is. A wee Bobcat real deal and of course Massey Ferguson pack we've got that over in 19 at the moment that's the real deal cool. of course we've got the uh, JCBs over there the track and the um the track with arm and then you've got the um normal wheel one uh jelly handlers uh I think there's a little no I haven't got that on there either there's a little farm all or something like that I can't remember what they call it, but that one was on there. Um, that pack, I've never, I don't know why I've got it in there because I've never used it. Uh, BSM trailers. There, um, Fleagle's got 
their trailers over there are 19 at the moment just a little small baler freeze it up over through the top into a baler wagon which um, I have one somewhere these are massive burgers and pack here um, those are auto loaded ones we got them in there here's all the Smythe ones that's what I miss on um, 19 actually all the Smythe wagons especially for the Irish map I want to put all that stuff on and the Brom um, that's all right don't I never do forestry don't know about it what else we got um, point of interest that is um, let's try see what's in the, oh, I've got a few different headers I think not maybe the same that's the Matthew Ferguson header that's the um, first track vehicle on this game I think I think it's the only track vehicle I had on 17 but yeah I'll, I'll just whiz through the tractor before you see there you go a little Hurleyman that's what I put my tanks net on normally and great little sounding tracker a little old school and yeah great little all round run around tractor got a bit of a pep in the step a bit of pep in the step hey these things they'll must uh, must have type thing they were my forward tractors so they didn't have any forward mods it sucks but I was using them as forward tractors basically forget the name just look at the side Massive Ferguson that little tractor is a great little tractor they have all rounder Dort Tvar and that sort of thing, I never use them. Um, that one there is the one we use on here. Of course, you got the case 1455, used that a lot. So I was never r right into the and a couple of the fast tracks I've used. So I was never into like the modern, modern tractors or that's sort of like an Italian job type thing if you're doing the Italian map. The Lamborghini, of course, is that's the one where the seats backwards as well. You can steer it backwards or forward. That was the first concept of that. I actually got one in the Italian map and or had one in the Italian map and I used it. And I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty cool idea actually. Had the mowers and on like backwards type of thing. You could uh, do it like that and it was pretty good. But never really got into it if you know what I mean. Sort of just not that guy. Couldn't like that sort of thing. Love the Massey Ferguson's like a seven years map, New Holland. The rest of them didn't really get a show in. Um, track challenges don't really like. Um, that's the first time I've seen the track case. Are these things? These big track, um, these big ones. I was using the quads and that. I think I did use a challenge on that. Now I got them in 19. These are all the old tractors. I had a full collection. The shed in Oakville Farm. I had them like in the in the shed, like as a collection type thing. Like a and that they were private collection, that sort of thing. This big old Russian thing here, this one here, this was my go to um, Big Bud. That, along with, I'll show you the plow in a minute. So, remember that tractor? I used to have it in white, actually, big Russian, big Russian thing. The polar bear. Actually, polar bear is not Russian, but this little um, industrial tractor I had, he's only a little one. But there's the Massive Ferguson um, range. Look at that. We'll go back through it again. 3000 series what we, um, was brought out by, I think it was Custom Modding. Um, he brought that. Well, it doesn't say at the top who makes the stuff. It doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't. Anyway, he brought out 3000 series. And uh, Granddad's Farm, I showcased the 600, the 3000s, and basically I try to showcase all the tractors if I can. 399 turbo. Ooh, love it. Orchard tractors, you know, that sort of thing. And I'll go back through the two wheelers, the two wheel drives, orchard tractors and stuff. I reckon that one, is it that one there or that one there? Mick's got it at the farm. Where's that one there? Yeah, Mick's got one of those at the farm. At the moment, <coughs> right now, I'm going to show you the plow. Is it a plow or uh, a cultivator or not? I used to have that thing back there and this one. Agrobear. That is this is my go to plow on this map. Love this big old clunker. She's a she's a big beauty. 
and that's what I used to put behind that Russian one and every other tractor there was on my map. Massey Ferguson's and that. This was my um. It's like uh, the Case Coulter, um the uh, disc harrow at the moment on 19. I'm sort of loving that. You could have it in yellow, like I used for the John Deere stuff, or Case, um, like the red for the Case. When I'm doing the Case stuff, um, or yellow for any of the other, like um, uh, for the um, uh, class and that. I'll use um, that plow as well. I use that plow all the time on 19. It was a uh, disc harrow uh, by Case, and um, there's a massive figure from one. It's good for Granddad's farm and that. There's another old one there, all rusty. That's good. So used, see, used, new or used. I go for the used one every time. That's a farm use. Some of these harrows and that for the for the old pack, the good stuff. Yeah. Oh, this caro. I never go for anything too small. Cedars sort of like don't float my boat unless they're um, a good one. The Horch one is the one that mainly I use in this game. I, I like on 17. I've used that on Grandad's Farm. I've used that on Grandad's Farm. Yes. So there we go. That's a, a look at the trucks and stuff like that they've got here. Uh, a couple of them that, like I said, the ones that I liked on this, these maps. So we'll be playing this map and I'll showcase the other maps. So I've, I think I've got the American Outpost, but I'm not too sure whether I'm going to keep that yet. Because I had to delete my actual farm again on 19, which sucks big time. Um, so put in that, um, that uh, Somerset one to give it a go, because I've played actually all the time, you know what I mean, um, on here, and then when I come out in 19, it was sort of, I could push it to one side, because I played it some time, and I had seasons on it in here as well, so I'm not putting seasons on any of the things in here, we're just going to play them up, and won't be going for the nuggets, we'll use the cheap money instead, so that's this one, so that's just a look for this, so we'll call it quits here, we'll say thank you very much for watching, and uh, I think I've got already gone over time anyway, so um, um, that's this preview of this farm so when it's up and running and starting to work I'll bring you back do a little bit of play on it and I'll be going between here and 19 and that sort of thing doing some 17 maps we're going to start putting up maps every two days or so of um, all different types of things like one every day we're going to be putting up there basically or something so we've got this Red Dead Redemption the um, director's cuts on GDA with the two um, offers, Nanko, the Chips one at the moment, and LSPD, who's Officer Clark. So, they're, they're just going to be racing around doing some things. There's not too much you can do with the story mode guys. So, we'll be doing the Alien one and that as well. Just some fun stuff. And, uh, you know, try to get some content out there. We'll be doing some more beach stuff. I did some metal detecting on the weekend. So, go and check it out. Chuck a, chuck a, um, a like down if you like it. If you don't, don't, I don't care, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep it to yourself. <laughs> um, the subscribe doesn't cost you anything, it helps me out. It makes me look better to my daughter's account. <laughs> She's got one of me. <laughs> anyway, Uru, have fun. If you can't be, uh, can't be good, be good at it. Uru, bye.